Welcome back to some more floor work locomotion, guys. Um, today, we are going to get into a little bit more floor work, seeing as the last little series we did was a little bit more low gate. So now we're going to explore what we can do um, down on the floor. So we'll start nice and easy. The first pattern I'm going to uh, get you guys to do. So we're going to start all of these things from a long sit position. So just basically sitting down with your legs out straight. First pattern we're going to do is called the lazy man. Basic lazy man entry. Okay, so I'll show you what it's like first. I'll show you each pattern what, what it's like first all the way through. And then we'll slowly dissect it, break it down, and then we'll stitch everything back together. So, lazy man. Put on the side. Cool. Pretty straightforward. So, first thing. I want to go through with these these patterns is the uh, use of the arm. So that will map onto every little uh, tool and every pattern we go through today. So the first thing I want you to think about is the way we enter the floor. So just completely forget about the legs and the lower body for now. But you start, the palm enters the floor, and we're going to roll down in like a corkscrew motion from the hand to the wrist, the forearm to the elbow to the shoulder. Okay, so from here we'll come down. Now I'm on my shoulder here, okay? So that's how we enter, and then we just reverse that motion to come back out. So from the shoulder, down the arm, to the elbow, to the wrist, to the hand. So get very used to this motion. Don't worry about the knee just yet. Just bounce around on each side. I'm watching as my head spirals, circles up from out of the bottom. So just get used to that motion first. It's going to come in handy as this entire series unfolds. Okay? Next step from there. The knee is going to track up. So we're in like a half fetal position here. Now once you're in here, you'll notice how the leg is just passive. It's staying straight right now. This other hand is going to begin to circle over the top as we lie down. And we come into the starfish position. So we should end up stopping in this position. And then on the way back around, we just invert that process on the other side. So the knee and the arm will lock in, this hand will drag around, and we push up off the floor. Okay, so if I enter on the arm, my other side, you'll see the exit a little bit more clearer. So I've entered, knee comes up, hand circles around, we come through the starfish. Now I bring my elbow in, my knee up as my other hand comes around, roll onto the shoulder, noticing the arm. Pressing back up there. Crawl. So one more time, both sides all the way through. There. So the more you exaggerate this arm, giving it a job to do, the cleaner the whole movement will look. So in your own time there, practice 10 reps each side. So 20 reps total and you can do it at any pace you want. So if it's first thing in the morning, you just want to loosen the spine out. Just give me nice, big circles and stretches. Nice and soft, each direction. Spiraling up and down there. Awesome. It's a pretty straightforward pattern, guys. Very powerful, maps onto a lot of other things we can do uh, from this position here. So that is the basic lazy man entry. Okay, so we'll get into the hip pocket roll next. What that looks like again, all the way through, from long sits, as always. We'll start from here, entering. Now, hopefully you spotted the lazy man exit we just went through, entry and exit we just went through. So you can see how these things start to build on each other. Okay, going back the other way. So to break this one down, again we start from our long sit position, entering the floor as we normally would, only this time let's create a parallel forearm and a parallel knee. 
So there's our first entry point. Still rolling down the arm there. Last thing we want to see is just plonking down like that. Okay? Enter. Here we are. Now this, we're going to create a little bit of a tunnel. So we're going to slide this out. So from that position there, I want you to base out with your other arm, your other leg. Stretch yourself out as much as you can. And now we're in a starfish position with our face down. From here, inverting that arm, I want to create that same tunnel. Coming back through here, in the top ribs, open you up into that star position, and you finish your lazy man exit. Okay, so one more time from another angle, starting from long sit, enter the floor. Here we are. There's our first position. And we reach. Slide that out, and we invert, come back around. We should be in this fetal position. Elbows tucked in, knees tucked in, top limbs, stretch out, roll onto the back, you're in a starfish position, and then you lazy man your way out of there, okay? So with a little bit of speed now, but a little bit faster, go. There we have the hip pocket roll. Okay, so we're going to go through the third pattern, the aeroplane. Looks a little bit more complex than it is, so we'll break it down nice and slow and then we'll uh, speed things up a little bit. So as always, starting from your long sit position. From here, we'll worry about, we'll worry about the physical entry a little bit later. We just want to get the raw sort of data of that movement um, installed first and then we'll start linking it in. So what I'll get you guys to do is just lie down, have one leg over the top. So in this, in this scenario here, I've got my right leg on top, my left arm is out, and my right hand is back here. Very nice position. Now all I'm gonna do is just keep unwinding my body. So I'm gonna rotate this way, like a propeller, and then change sides. So now I've ended up with my left leg on top, and my left arm behind. So I'll get you guys just to go through and rotate. Each side there, about 10 times. Okay, from the side, pushing the legs out. From there. So, from the end position, all we're gonna do is unwind the legs like we're pedaling a bike, okay? So if we come down here, and we wanna exit, all I'm going to do is just pedal my legs like that and then use that lazy man exit to come on out there. Okay? So, a little bit quicker. If we just want to start from a base here, we can slide out. One leg comes across. Go around. And here we are. Going the other way. If you want to utilize, if you want to stack these movements on together and start stitching them together, you can use a lazy man entry to get into that position as well. And that would look something like this. You start with lazy man. And as you pass through that star position, you go through that airplane. Back in. Like so. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna link all those three things together because that's the whole point. We wanna be able to have fun with this stuff. So, picking those three elements we just worked with, the lazy man entry, the aeroplane, and the hip pocket roll, in any order you wanna sync these up in, um, that's half the fun is being able to find out how you can link these things together. So I'm gonna go through these patterns nice and slow first, and we'll eventually speed things up again. If you want, you can slow down the video to pick up any subtle details. So. As always, starting from your long sit, let's just pick any three randoms. So let's just go in order for now. Let's go a lazy man, 
Let's go hip pocket roll and then we'll go into an airplane. So nice and slow. orientation you finish in for now really doesn't matter. I'm doing my best to stay in this frame, so I'm sort of adjusting with my space. If you have limited space, good. You can work with new adaptations to these movements. So let's go again from another angle. I said we can go in any order <clears throat> with any of these things here so let's try something new let's go a hip pocket roll first into the airplane into the lazy bed so we'll start relatively hard and we'll get easier as we go along okay There we go, three things linked together once again. So try any order of these guys. There can be any number of patterns, any number of orders. Let's keep it basic for today. What I want you to do is 10 reps, each of those exercises, so five on each side, and then have 10 minutes of just improvising, playing, linking them together, however you need to do. 